Hey, I wanted to give you guys a peek into our new uh, daily grid. Uh, some of you saw this on Instagram, so I wanted to show you how I created it. I made a blank page uh, for each day of the week, and I basically just put a grid on here. You can see it, and I laminated the paper, and then I made these cards, which I will show you how to do, um, and then I just put Velcro on the back so that they can come off. So each day, what I do is to give her a visual of what she has to do that day. So if you look, I use Lesson Trek, and this is her weekly lesson plan. So this is more for me, and this is for her, to give her a visual. So here's her Monday plan. You can see this is her second week of first grade. And if you look over here, you can see all of these things here. The D means she does these with daddy. The K means she does these with her brother. Um, she has a very light day of school on Mondays because her brother is, uh, his heavy day is Monday because he's in the gym all day on Tuesday and Thursday. So anyways, we have a weird week, but this is how we do it. So what I do is I take my lesson track plan and I use that to build her grids for the week. So there's Tuesday, there's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday ready to go. Okay, so I'll each week just set this up so that all I have to do is pull that out. So once she finishes a subject each day, she can pick. I let her pick, except for these. She has to do these when Daddy's ready. She has to do these when I tell her. But everything else she gets to pick. So once she's done with a subject, she just pulls it off. So it gives her a good visual of seeing how much she has left. And it also gives her a little bit of choice in what she does. So I've got extra ones in here. I just keep them in there so that I can easily restock um, the pages each week. So far, we have one week of this under our belt. And it worked really well. She really liked having um, the visual. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I made the daily grids first. These are very simple. You can see Monday, Tuesday, um, so that in case you need to make one to change to have more subjects right here. Basically, this is all one grid. See how it can go like this? Where you get this, I am in PowerPoint. So you're gonna go, here's home, you're gonna go to insert. You're gonna click table. For this one, you can see I have four. So let's say you wanted nine. So you're going to insert that, you're going to drag the corner, get it to the size that you want it. Let's just say I want it like this. Uh, I don't really like that, but <laughs> here in uh, Table Tools Design is where you can make it white. Um, I'm going to pull it over here just so that you can see it compared to the one I have. Okay, so this is the one I have with eight. You can see, you can also right click and click Insert. You can insert rows above, below, and so it adds it, and then you just pull it. Ah, you just go right here in the corner and pull it, and there you go. You can make any size of a grid um, to work with your day. Uh, for the text, all you do is, there it is like that, you type it in, and then you just pull it long ways to get it to go on the side. That's all. I wanted to show you real quickly how I made uh, the subject cards because everybody's subjects are going to be different, so there's really no point in me sharing my exact one. You can kind of see through here how I printed multiples and how I just changed to get. So we're going to start here with a blank. You can see the colored dots right here. These are not a grid. These are actually just squares because I measured them. I had to do some... Um, some kind of trial and error to make sure that they matched my grid. So I, uh, you can just mess around with those. So basically what these are is insert, shape, rectangle, which is also a square. You're gonna pull it to be the size that you want, okay? Then you're going to go here, shape fill. I have no fill. Shape outline, you're gonna pick whatever color you want. I'll make this one teal for now. I'm actually going to delete this one right here so you can see how I made it um, dotted if you like that. So you're going to come over here to shape outline. You're going to click dashes. I believe it was this one. I'll show you how right here. We'll figure it out. See where it says more? Either here or here, more lines. You're going to go in here. You're going to see right here where it says flat and you're going to select it to round. And this is where you can make it bigger, okay? You can change the style that you want. See where it says round dot, square dot. I can't remember which one I used, so here, we'll try this. Okay, see, that's pretty small. So I'm going to go in, again, shape outline. You can go into any of these. It doesn't matter. Just click more lines. 
and I'm going to make it, I think if you pull it, yeah, see, look, if you pull it to the side, you can see it getting bigger right here. See it? So you pick the size that you want, and then you uh, can right here change the color that you want. See the color right here? So you can pick whatever color you want. Okay, so you're going to make a grid right here. Then you're going to go online if you don't have. So let's say we want all about spelling. Okay, so you're going to search that. I click images. And I'm going to just look at what pops up in Google. All right, this one's great. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to click save image as. I'm going to save that onto my desktop and my computer. Then I'm going to come back to PowerPoint and I'm going to click insert picture. And I'm going to go, oh look, you're going to be able to see inside my stuff. I'm going to go to where I have my curriculum images. So here's mine where I have saved all of mine. I got these um, on either the curriculum website or just in a Google search. So I'm going to click that. Now, if you want the background of something uh, in PowerPoint white, click color, set transparent color, and then click on it and look, the background disappears. And then you can drag it to the size that you want and move it. Now, let's say you do this every day of the week. So you're going to need five of those cards. So you're going to copy and you're going to paste and you're going to make five of those so that when you're printing out your grid cards, you are ready to go. Uh, if you want to add text, that's really easy. If you want it to say something, you just pull and add. Oh, you get the picture. Okay, and then you can change the font, move it around, you can put it on it however you want, okay? So that's basically how you make your grid. So I just built my grids that way, and then I printed them out. Actually, I printed them, laminated them, then I cut them out, then I put the Velcro on, and that is it.